Alrighty. We got Hanamura up next. <sighs> got some Hanamura. 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 Um. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Oh, sorry, I just thought about things for a second, forgot that I was recording. I am recording right now. Both teams are running Ryan Zarya on this point. Um, looks like... Five, uh, four, oh, three, red is going triple two, tank, one, one tracer attack on attack, uh, with the Defend Lucio to speed through. A. Blue team is going with the McCree um, <laughs> junk, so junk should be able to charge his ult fairly quickly if he plays this right. Wait for the speed boost from the Lucio. Oh, they booped the, Zari the Reinhardt out of the way, so the Reinhardt doesn't get a charge in, and the Lucio goes down to the gold main charge, and then the um, Rein does as well. The Mercy tries to res and gets the res off on the Reinhardt, but there's still the Lucio down, but the Lucio should be back soon. Um, the Reinhardt's going to try and push forward, but now they're a little out of position. If that primary push doesn't work, um, it's probably not going to work at all. As you see, blue team already has a significant ult advantage. Um, they take down the Rhine as the counter charge comes in. Gold main goes a little bit low, but they get double healing on him. Um, and see, already they have a Junkrat tire. They have to rotate back on the point to protect from the tracer that's killed their Zenyatta, um, but they res the Zenyatta, and they're still trying to hold gate to stop the team for pushing through. If, if red team was ever going to push through, this would be the best time as blue team is staggered. Um, um, and it looks like they're trying to do so. Gold main's pushed forward a little too far, and I bet he's going to die here. He tries to counter charge. Is he going to shatter or is he going to go down? He shatters, gets two, but ends up going down. No one's there to really capitalize on it. Um, they transcend it into point and then counter Zarya. Um, but they don't have the Rhine there to really swing into the Zarya ult, so they're not going to get much out of that. They kill the the Mercy, but then lose two. They killed the enemy Reinhardt. They're still even if they can keep each other up. They're, um, Ryan tries to get a charge and doesn't get any. They lose their Junkrat and McCree uh, ults from behind. Doesn't get anyone. Um, misses the flashbang. Goes down. Now it's just Ryan and Mercy on point. Um, and the rest of the red team is going to be rotating at its point soon. They lose the Mercy and the Ryan's going to go soon after. There he goes. Alright. They're not going to end up taking that. I, yeah. Come on. Uh, no. Okay. Their tracer tries to push forward a little bit, but from people a little bit overextending, it actually works in their favor since they have people there to just put too much damage and really take that. But now their Junkrat's probably going to go down because he's pushed forward too far and they're... Um, uh, sorry. Sometimes they'll lock in on people on accident. Um, sorry. Um, the Junkrat does not go down? I don't know. I didn't see um, holding top ground, high ground, um, red team's trying to push through a little bit farther, um, build up ult charges, red team has a significant ult charge advantage, they have the, um, but, gold main gets a big shatter and takes out one, and they're trying to take out the enemy Ryan, who's very low, so is their, um, their diva gets demacked, finally, sorry, that's how I was trying to say diva, good name for that, um, Goldman tries to counter charge. They're pushing through. Red team has gained the high ground advantage, but they're still one down, I believe. Um, that allowed that fight, not using Grav there, um, allowed Ellie to get Transcendence, which she should be able to use to counter Grav. But they do lose two right there due to the Reinhardt uh, shatter, but they lose their Reinhardt in return. Um, but he's going to get rezzed, and their Junkrat goes down. Um, now they just need to group up, but they're not going to be able to do that. The McCree tries to ult, doesn't end up working. There's the Zenyatta ult, but now there's going to be a counter grab in return. Um, and I assume that's going to be it. There's the grab. Oh wait, no, that's Tig's grab, but she's the only one there. They dropped the beat to counter that. Ready for the other grab.
Nope, just kind of staggering on the point. If Lutheum can take this back, I would be impressed. There's the Graviton Surge. They try to throw the Diva Bomb so he'll get, a, get under the lip in time, but does not seem to do that. Blue team kind of rotates back on the point. They have three on the point. Um, but they haven't been able to get a pick yet to push, get any advantage on this. It doesn't look like they're going to, but they're staggered for They're staggered on the point for about um, 45 seconds at this point, and they're going to continue to try and do so. It looks like they're going to be able to just stag to stagger on for a good minute. Two CP at its finest, folks. Um, geez, geez. Still, they've been able to, lose, unable to get, even though they've staggered for a whole minute. In which case, you sh minute and 15 seconds for for. I mean, I say stagger. What's the word? Buying for time? Uh, I don't know. There's a word for that. <laughs> Minute 15. That was amazing. I mean, usually when you stack, when you kind of like filter on the point, oh, what's the word? Who knows? Um, you can wait for long enough to for you to finally get like some sort of pick and then you can take advantage of that and push through but it doesn't look like blue team is able to do that so they weren't able to take back the point but they were able to stagger for a long time so if they can get a very good uh, first or second attack here they might be able to uh, get a better time looks like blue might be going for the triple tank with the Moira um, Red is going to go for the Widow Tracer, um, which us usually there can, or not usually, but there can be seen a lot of times a Widow on this point. Um, yep, there's the triple tank. Oh, it just is the question. Quad tank. Come on, full, full all the way over here. Um... Yeah, sorry, let me get a better position. This is where I'm going to hang out. You're going to have to see the blue on the other side, the little outlines. Um, but it's not going to be all that interesting, or at least it shouldn't be until they start pushing through. So It's hard with Hanamura, or at least first point, because the ceilings are Five, so low, and there's that four, big stupid three, gate that you can't two, get an overhead of you from. Um, what is going to be damage boosted? Defend Looking for a pick. A. Scary goes down to 1 HP, but isn't going to quite go down, but they're going to push through anyway. They take down the Zenyatta right away, and Scary's finally getting healed up. Um, they take down the Reinhardt as well, and looks like this might work. Um, their Zarya goes down, they re-res their Rhine. Their Widow's... sorry. Their Widow's... the Red Team's Widow's still in the back, um, shooting, but she's they're gonna ha she's not going to have good shots because of the cover. Um, they take down, with the Moira Ball, both the Tracer and the Mercy. The Widow's going to do her own thing, I guess. It looks like Triple Tank has worked this time. Um, and it looks like there is some disparity in the ult charge, but it's not a whole lot because they managed to get picked so fast. Like, the support ults for Blue Team are going to be doing a lot better because um, they killed that Zen so fast. But they lose, their, they lose Scary, and they're not going to be able to really snowball this well because of that good pick. Um, and they don't have the mercy to res that. Um, they use sights. Um, then they lose their Moira, and I would just recommend backing out. But um, they're trying to get staggers here, and it looks like they're probably going to get them. To be honest, uh, I mean they kill the. Oh, the, ho the hog's back capping. Is he going to get a tick? He gets a tick back capping. The rest of the team gets on the point. Um, blue team tries to support him, but the rest of the team's going to be there. Um, Tig tries to ult, but does not have any support, so she's going to go down. Um, they take out the 
Tracer with a flame strike, but blue is still two down. Now they're even, but the enemies are going to be back quickly. They lose their Lucio. They should just back out. Scary's getting good picks, but at the wrong at the wrong time. Good picks at the wrong time. Their Genji gets hooked, but mm, he manages to stay out of line of sight, so it does not get pulled in. I am ready. Scary looks down mid for some picks. Um, I didn't even just tell you that. He switched off Zarya for the Widow. Um, they lose. They take out the Zen, but lose their Widow. They shatter. Widow is probably one of the least impact characters on this map, unless she's getting picked. So that's probably one of the best things you'd be able for to lose. Um, but they have the Grav. Um, but it's not going to get much impact with the Moira to heal through it. Um, they keep getting kills. Scary's back on Tracer. Um, they're going to focus down that Zenyatta, I assume. Uh, the Shatter comes in, but they do kill the Zenyatta. Um, they get the pin on the Lucio, which is going to be less healing. Um, and that's what I was talking about. When Red Team was attacking, Blue Team was unable to, er, to get picks, but Blue Team has still managed to hold a presence on this point, and they just need to continue to kill people. Um, like, they're losing people, but they might be able to take this anyway. They do! With a much better time than Red Team as well. This is the first time we've really seen uh, Torque with a good advantage um, in a map before. So maybe we'll get a reverse sweep happen here or something. Um, well done on their part. Like they, even though they lost some people, Red Team was unable to get on the point and like an even, like evenly, like like Torque was, um, which allowed them to stagger for so much time. Where it, like and um, shoot, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, and so it allowed them, even the Torque, even though they lost some people on the attack, it allowed them to continue to hold the point. Um, and they killed the te the other team, and Hot Sauce was not dead for long enough for them to Attackers take advantage of the decreased healing seconds. on the team. Uh, plus, they had the Moira, which is lots of healing. Uh, Really, the Lucio's main job, I would say, is not healing, but the speed boost. So, like, they, they just kind of lost the speed, which they don't really need when they're on the point. Um, so, again, they lose the Widow and the Lucio, which are probably the people that they most want to lose there. Um, Five, four, except maybe, like, a Roadhog three, or something. Two, okay. So I'm going to get in a better position. Defend Objective A. Blue's on defense here. They're running triple tank on defense, which is always risky because of the ult charge that it feeds the other team, even as they're attacking. Um, but red team gets hooked. The enemy Reinhardt tries to charge in, which should be punished. We'll see if it actually does. The D.Va collapses on the um, Zenyatta of the other team. They do end up killing the Reinhardt, um, and they continue to stay alive. They take out the D.Va and the Rhine, and that's going to allow them to push forward and hopefully get some staggers. Um, Looks like they're not going to really... I mean, they're trying to pursue staggers, but they're... Oh, nice. Um, and they've charged the ults. They get the Lucio. Um, sorry, I meant, forgot to mention, Red Team is, ru is running the quad tank, but since they got stopped first push, unlike Torque on attack, um, I would recommend switching off, because you're just going to feed the other team. Um, especially the Junkrat, as you can see. Um, for the most part, they seem about even on ult percentage. Um, I mean, Ryan is low, but they speed boost through to try and get this point. Um, Junkrat no longer has tire. He used it when they were already kind of winning the fight. Um, so he doesn't have it there to stop the uh, point. But they do take down the Ryan and the Lucio, so they should be able to take this back. Um, they take out the Moira, that's no healing for the other team. Some boops off the point. And they're going to be able to take that back. They use Transcendence, question mark. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... Whatever, I'm just a commentator. Oh wait, I'm a commentator, I can comment on your stupid ults. Lol noobs. Just kidding, you guys are fine.
Um, blue team has everyone back on point now, I believe. Zen's still holding back corner. Um, that was fun. Just some counter shatters, but um, Junk had his ult again, so he used it. Um, the D.Va di dived with the Zenyatta in the back line, but the rest of the team couldn't push through to do that, so the Zenyatta died, but the rest of the team, the rest of red team died. Um, their D.Va wisely jumped off point, but it's going to be rough to regroup in time. Um, however, good pick there, and they use Grav, they get Tig, and kill the Moira. This is probably going to be a point taken. Um, really, that was their win condition at the end of the day, was charging a, a good grab. Um, and they get, they got two with it, I believe, the Moira and the Diva. Um, and the pick on the Junkrat early on. And they're going to have one more push. Let's see if they can take it. Zenyatta's going to be a bit out of position here. Um, but they should be able to get back in time. Triggs goes high ground to just spam the chokes because they kn he knows they have to go through that midpoint. Um, they have the junk who uses his ult, doesn't get anything with it. Um, they use coalescence and the diva bomb up top. Um, yeah, they're unable to touch point. Good round. Let's see if Torque can take first. If so, it's a tie, which would I mean be bet it's been close game so far, but that would they'll be them tying it up, which I believe they're gonna be easily be able to do. Um if they recognize their grab win condition like red team seem to do. Um Looks like they are gonna run the quad tank again. Red team is going to run not triple tank on defense, they're going to run um soldier Junk. Soldier's there for the consistent damage on the tanks, I believe. Because, um, like, unlike a Widow, which aims for the squishies with the Lucio and the Moira, it's tough to get good shots on the squishies. Um, and especially with the Reinhardt, who's there, too. So they go for the um, Soldier with the consistent damage and the Junk with the consistent damage. Um, oh, look. Blue is running... Torque is running the Junk on attack here instead, hoping for the um, Rip Tires to help uh, get picks to help them take first, I assume. I assume. What you usually do Tracer for, but Junk has a much more consistent ult. Like, especially at this point where you can climb over so many walls and stuff. Um, you're more likely to get kills. Um, Vienden uh, recognizes that they like to rotate around left side, so let's put a trap there to hopefully trap someone pushing through. Um, and they do go to the to the right side, or our left, um, and they do get trapped. Surprise, surprise. Um, Goldman is out of position and is probably going to go down. They lose both their healers. That's an end push. They kill the Rhine though, so best would be here is to back up and group up. Uh, nope, the Rhine gets rezzed. Now they're back to full reset would be best here. Um, Tig gets out. Hog is still there going for hooks. It's, he's going to get pursued and won't go down. Um... Really, at that point, you just ended up feeding the enemy ult charge, did you not? Um, but it does look like Blue has an ult advantage apart from the Junkrat, who has his ult right now, which he will use to even this fight up, I assume. Um, charge on defense. They take out the Mercy, um, so there's no res, but here comes that. Now they just, like, they need to just group up. Um, Diva went on point. They need to just group up and get on point as fast as possible. They lost the the enemy lost their mercy and their junk rat. So if they can group up, speed boost in, ah, but they're staggering and the mercy's gonna get back and yeah. Um like still the junk's not there. So if you can like even still if you can push in right now, this would be the best time to do it. Um but you have to wait for your junk to get back from spawn and I assume the other junk will be there when that junk gets there, so Speed booster now. Both teams are going to be looking for shatters. Um, one team uses uh, red uses both support ults. Uh, blue uses their coalescence, which is the only thing they have. Um, Goldman gets shatter gets blocked, um, and the enemy Ryan tries to 
uh, encounters successfully and then charges and gets Goldmane. Goldmane's getting the, the butt end of the stick with these charges. Um, blue team decided to not go with the... Oh, they dropped the beat with three people. Unfortunate. Dummies. Um, blue team has opted not for the win condition of the Zarya. Goldmane has switched for the Winston. It looks like they're going for the traditional dive instead. Their diva is going to get staggered. Um, and so is their Lucio, which is going to leave them with less time. Uh, it looks like at this point, blue team is giving up on that. They take out the soldier, which is, he's going to get rezzed. That's what I was about to say. Um, the res is down now, so any picks that happen would be real. Maybe a Widowmaker would be good here, but instead they opt for the... Oh, Goldmane switches to Winston, but then switches back to Ryan, so maybe some confusion there. Tig goes down, because she didn't just go back to spawn and switch. Um, even though she only had like 40 ult charge, that probably would have been a good decision to do, but... Um, no big deal. They're just going to wait for her to come back. Um, their Ryan has already charged their Shatter again, whereas Goldmane has 20%, even though they both used it at the same time. Um, they're pushing through now. The Diva Bomb gets behind them. Their whole team is split now. Um, they use Coalescence. It's still even. Now it looks like Blue Team's a little more coordinated. No picks have gone through yet, except their Tracer goes down, and there's the Shatter, and it gets everyone. Uh, that's going to be a kill. Red team uses most of their ults, uh, delayed beat that they did not need to use, but they blue team is now... Now they switch to Zarya? No, now they switch to Winston. Okay. Um, how I'd assume this strategy would work is you send both the D.Va and the Winston in to dive with the Lucio, and then you send the other three to follow up and push up. Um, but... Yeah, there goes the Winston. He's going on the point. They do get the charge on the. Um, sorry. Um, they res the Junkrat. Reinhardt's dead. Both Reinhardt sides are dead. The soldier uses ult. Um, gets the monkey and the um, hog. They take out the soldier though. Um, and the junk gets his ult again. Takes out the diva. Unable to remag. Now it's just the healers on point. Um, the Ryan, there, Ryan's gonna be back on point. They shatter, get the diva. Don't manage to charge the diva. The enemy Ryan comes in from their spawn. Um, they get a good beat in, gets their Winston as well. But the Ryan does not see where the beat, the bombs coming from, gets taken out by that. They take out the enemy Junkrat though, um, who immediately gets rezzed. Winston uses Primal gets charged. Um, Eichsen is doing a great job of hitting charges on this map, which is really making the difference for them. Um, Diva gets demacked, and that's just going to be a cleanup job. There's a shatter and a tire, which is going to end up with red team winning the point, even though blue team ended with a good advantage there. Um, good game.